think I, like many millennial women, we had seen feminism and just seeing anger and seeing that push for abortion and that being so connected to feminism to the point where you can't even say that you are a feminist if you're pro-life without backlash. To think that because we value the littlest women of all, <laughs> just as much as any other woman at any other stage in her life, means that we are against womanhood or we're disconnected to the reality of the pains and the struggle and the trauma associated with being a woman. Are we not women? You know, do, not, do we not hurt and ache in the same way? I've grown up in a family of mostly women, uh, women who have been abused um, through domestic violence and women who've been rejected, mistreated. Um, my mom, my aunts, um, survivors, strong women, strong women. My Auntie Sherry, my Auntie Jackie, my mom, my Auntie Sandy, my Auntie Mamala, I mean, they can do anything. And I always looked to them for a source of strength and comfort, and I thought, you know, this is what it's like to be a feminist, you know, to be a strong woman, um, to fight, because they're always, they're always taking care of people. And then I looked at African-American women that I loved, like Sojourner Truth, like, like Harriet Tubman. And, and I realized, you know, Christina, you are fighting for women all the time. Um, that's your heart, you know, to fight for them if they're in an abusive relationship, if they're being mistreated. I remember a black abortion doctor. I said, you know, why are you doing this? And she goes, you and I both know about killing because I'm helping these women survive. I think for some, they see it after the woman comes back, because they say 75% of women who have an abortion will have another abortion. So they come back after the third abortion, maybe the fourth abortion, and start to think, geez, am I really helping them? There are so many women, so many women, who if their partner, boyfriend, husband, whatever, if he says, listen, I know this is a difficult decision, but I'll do whatever I can to support you, we'll make it through. We'll choose life. Not every single person, but many of them will, because, they feel that relief, okay, I'm not alone in this. Every time I talk about abortion, people come up to me and they tell me their stories. And I have heard so many times, I wish you were here. I wish someone told me this. I wish I knew this. I wish I was educated. I didn't know, no one told me. Is that empowering to women? No, it's not. Where's the feminist for these women? And so I kind of came to this realization that I am a feminist. It's okay because I'm going to redefine it. I'm not okay with injustice, you know, in any way, shape or form towards women.